Welcome to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast, where we share tips, techniques, and true stories to support you in using the law of attraction and alchemy to create magic and live the life of your dreams. Here's your host, the founder of DailyAlchemy.com, Michelle Martin Dobbins. Hi there, this is Michelle Martin Dobbins with today's episode of Adventures in Alchemy. And um, you're going to have to bear with me today. I am recording with four kids and a dog in the house. They've promised to be quiet, but we'll see. So if you hear anything strange in the background, that's what's going on. But I really wanted to get these out and there to you. So I'm doing what I've got to do to get it done. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about alchemy. And I know it's a term that's used in a lot of different ways and you see it um, in a lot of different places. So I kind of want to tell you what my take on alchemy is and how it can help you in your life. Um, If you know anything about alchemy, you may have a picture of some old scientific looking guy over some beakers trying to turn lead into gold. And... That was something that people did, but a lot of that was is more symbolic. They're trying to turn the lead and parts of themselves into gold. And then some people um, mistook what they were doing and started actually really focusing on turning lead into gold. And, and there are some people that, that that's part of their process is making changes in the physical world, but it's, it's definitely symbolic of changing yourself. And so I talk a lot about the law of attraction and alchemy. And um, I have a book. If you want to go deeper into this, it's called Personal Alchemy. And it is available as an ebook on Amazon. But I wanted to share a little bit from you, t- with you from that book about alchemy and my take on alchemy. Um, I have done a little bit of study. If you're interested in practical alchemy, physical alchemy, plant alchemy, and really going in depth with it, alchemystudy.net, I believe it is, has an online study program that is really good. And it goes into depth in that. And I'm not going to teach about that because I'm a student of that, but I am not an expert. Um, But I have worked with the law of attraction, spiritual growth, meditation, and my, my version of alchemy or how I do alchemy for 20 plus years. So I want to share with you some of what has worked with me in that, um, in this podcast. And um, I want to start bringing you tips that you can use, some true stories to kind of give you inspiration of what can happen when you work with this. And if people write in questions, I will answer them. But first of all, a little bit about personal alchemy and how it is different from law of attraction. The law of attraction is just like attracts like. You're going to attract things into your life that match with your vibration. Um, And, you know, a lot of times things that you think about, you're going to see in your life. Um, The difference with alchemy is alchemy is, law of attraction is part of alchemy. But alchemy is actually transforming or allowing your true self to emerge and getting closer to your higher self raising your vibration. And when you do that, you're going to start attracting good things naturally. Um, To me, alchemy is really focusing on yourself and raising your personal vibration. And you don't even have to do the law of attraction with it, but you can. And law of attraction is more of trying to attract certain things in your life. And, And I know a lot of people do it with not an intention of exactly what they're going to attract to. And to me, that's kind of more of what I work with because I've known people who have worked with law of attraction, but not necessarily worked on their own spiritual growth and the things that they have received, they, they may get what they wanted to attract, but still doesn't quite ring true for them. It doesn't bring the feeling with it they want. Um, and that's part of a lot of, what they say, um, Abraham Hicks, there's no happy ending to an unhappy journey. You can't like grit your teeth and get through and get what you want and be happy because if you're not happy along the way, you're not going to be happy when you get it. And there's one little analogy that I have in my book, Personal Alchemy, that I wanted to read to you. Um, 
which is you are an ingredient in every recipe you cook. Um, and have you noticed when you cook or when someone cooks for you, food tastes differently depending on who cooked it. Um, you know, sometimes your mother may say that her magic ingredient is love. And I'm sure that you've noticed that two people who follow the same recipe will not have the exact same results. They will probably be similar unless the recipe is very complex, but never exactly the same. Even though they're putting the same ingredients and following the same techniques, you know, there's differences in the chef's ability and style and the raw ingredients and cooking tools, such as the oven. But also, I believe the, ingre- the, you know, the results are affected by the vibration of the cook. Um, how they're feeling about cooking, how they feel about who they're cooking for, their intention for the outcome. You know, do they see this is going to be this beautiful, lovely meal, or they're just wanting to get it done um, and out there and feed their kids before they start screaming? Um, That is a big, you know, there's just a wide range of things going on. Um, So in other words, the cook is one of the ingredients in the recipe and plays a big part of the result. And to me, that is what personal alchemy is in our life. We are, we are a big part of how things work in our life. So two different people can take the same steps. They can say the same mantra. They can say the same affirmation. They can have the same pictures on their vision board. And they may even end up getting the same things in their life, but it's going to be, it's going to feel different. For each person based on their vibration and usually the outcomes are going to be somewhat different because we're each unique and special and that is a wonderful thing it's a wonderful wonderful thing but um if you are in your life right now and it's not feeling good to you and the things that you're creating are not exactly what you want then it's probably a good time to focus on alchemy And I want to keep these podcasts really short so that you have a chance to just pop in and listen to one or two whenever you have a few minutes. If you're in your car driving somewhere or walking your dog or doing whatever it is that you do during the day. Um, I don't want to make them big hour long extravaganzas. Short and sweet with something that you can use. Um, So I wanted to start out and tell you a little bit about me, which I did in the first one. And a little bit about alchemy, which I did in this one. And if you want more, you can go to my website, um, dailyalchemy.com. Or you can go to Amazon and look up my book, Personal Alchemy. And it goes much more into depth and how you can work on that. But we're going to do little snippets here on of ideas that you can use in your life um, to transform it for the better. And also um, give you some true stories to give you some inspiration and motivation. And like I said, if you have questions, you can email those to me. If you go to my website, you can click on the little envelope and send me an email. Or you can put them on my Facebook page, put them on Twitter, and I will answer them on an upcoming podcast. So um, have a wonderful week. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Namaste. Thanks for listening to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast. Connect with me on thedailyalchemy.com or Facebook at facebook.com slash Michelle Dobbins author. Join us next time for even more magical life tips.